Hey guys, Kip here, and we're introducing you to Iago, our Eurasian Eagle Owl. These are one of the largest owls on the planet, and they're native to Europe, Asia, and North Africa areas, and they live in a whole wide variety of different environments and ecosystems. We can find them uh, in mountain regions, forest areas, even the outskirts of deserts. Uh, so they're very adaptable for a variety of different environments. And they even have some unique adaptations which allow them to be able to survive in a variety of environments as well. Uh, these are a bird of prey, so he's eating other animals. He's going after he's eating uh, frogs toads lizards snakes uh, mice and rats and even larger prey like skunks and things like that and in order to be able to get those prey he has quite a few different adaptations to be able to attack and to eat his prey and we're gonna take a look at a few of those today the first one his claws if we take a look at Iago's talons, he has these large talons. Those allow him to be able to pierce through his prey, can grab it so it can't escape, and then he can eat his prey completely whole. Take a look at Iago's head. One of their most famous uh, adaptations is the ability to move their head almost all the way around, but not all the way around. We're seeing about 270 degrees. So Iago has fixed eyes. He cannot move his eyeballs like us humans can. So his head has to be able to move a lot further around to be able to see what's going on behind him. So just like this, how he's looking behind him right now, that he has more vertebrae in his neck than us humans, so he is more essentially flexible. He can turn further way around him to be able to see what's going on around. If we take a look at his head, he has these little feathers here. Those are not ears, those are just feathers. Uh, his ears are actually what we call asymmetrical hearing. So he has one ear that's higher than the other ear. This way he can tell the direction of a sound a lot better than us humans can. And they also have exceptional hearing. They also have exceptional eyesight. He has binocular vision. So if he's up in a tree, he can find a tiny little field mouse moving through the grasses, or if he's flying up above, he can spot those animals. He swoops down, picks them up with his talons, and then he eats them. How he sneaks up on his prey is really interesting. He has these little serrations on his feathers. Those serrations allow him to have what we call silent flight. So as he moves throughout and he's flying all throughout the forest, the other prey, the prey animals don't hear him flying, so he can sneak up on them. And we can kind of get a close-up of those feathers. You can see those serrations. It kind of looks like a steak knife. That allows him to glide through the air silently. Now, if we look, he's a pretty big owl. How much do you guys think he weighs? Some people usually guess that our program is about 20 to 30 pounds, but he only weighs about five pounds. He's extremely lightweight. Remember, he has hollow bones, and his body is comprised mostly of feathers. Uh, if we actually took off all of his feathers and we weighed those against his bones, his uh, feathers would actually weigh more than his bones weigh. Yeah. Uh, if we look, you may see Iago puff out his throat a little bit. He's just exhaling. He's cooling himself off. So if he gets a little warm, uh, he'll pant kind of like a dog, a little similar to a dog, and that's how he cools himself off. Us humans can do that as well, but it's not our most effective form of cooling our bodies off. We usually rely on our sweat. Uh, since these guys don't really sweat, he's using that puffing to be able to get nice and cool. Thanks for joining us on our virtual presentation today. Uh, stay tuned because next we're going to be dissecting an owl pellet and we'll give you guys the link so you can dissect your own virtual owl pellet online from home. Thanks guys. See you next time.